Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm back from my holiday and yeah, I'm really looking forward to do some more coasters and the flower technique. I hope I still can do it and wish me luck. It's always a fine border. Um, my resin is setting at the moment um, 35 minutes. I already put 55 grams of resin into my molds and 20 grams each in here. And I also prepared already my glitter mix. And I have the holographic glitter, the red gold from Rico. And I put a little bit holographic glitter from a company called Glorix in red in there. So I made a little paste and I will see how this works. Um, yeah, my resin, sorry, it's as usual, the um, Art Pro from Resin Pro. It's a very good resin, I'm, I'm very satisfied with this. So let me start mixing colors. Um, I will be using yellow. It's actually from Armor Art, the sun yellow, and the strawberry red. It's a lighter red, but I guess I can darken it a little bit with the Santa Fe red or making it a little bit more, um, yeah, colorful. Um, to be safe and sorry, I will put two drops of the um, white pigma, pigma pen from Armour in each cup. It's already dripping out. So. One. And two. It's really like chewing gum. <laughs> One. Come on. And two. I have to keep this bottle upside down, otherwise I don't get anything out there. It already feels rather empty though. So, now I will be putting, or I'm putting um, four drops of the yellow. One, two, three, four, and I go with two drops of the golden yellow from Pinata. One, two, and now the same with red, the strawberry red. Um, Four drops, one, two, three, four. It's a very light red, as you can see. That's why I darken it a little bit with the Santa Fe from Pinata. Two drops, one, Two. I don't know about you guys, but I always think the alcohol ink has a strange smell. Let me give, give it a good stir. Actually, for my taste, it could be a little bit darker. So maybe let me put two more drops of the alcohol ink in there. One, two, three, four. 
two. Normally, um, these two colors should be already white pigment in there, but I still don't trust it really <laughs> because um, I used it without um, putting white, extra white in there and it was very, um, let's say, pale and it was lying on the top. So let's see how it works. really like this yellow it's more a dark yellow and yeah it already feels a lot thicker than um, the red but here I have a little bit more alcohol ink in there so I hope those colors go with each other let's wait and see Let me put the center first. I already torched this. Let me see if I can see some bubbles. Jeez. Maybe a little bit. Yes, around there. I can see some cat hair in here. Always something in the air. Yeah, I've got it. And there's also something in there. Yes, I have it. Sorted. So let me just put the center. Yeah, I really enjoyed my holiday. Um, I was at a place called Büsum. And it's very north in Germ very north of Germany and the Danish border is not far away. It's really very nice there. A lot of nature resorts, especially with the um, Wattenmeer we call it. I don't know the English for it. And it's um, because of the tides. You know, the sea is going, the sea is coming. And it's, it's really nice. Ate a lot of fish, which is also nice. <laughs> so let me get my, my cups. I already prepared them. I finally have my thin um, piping bags again. Let's see how this is. Still quite liquid. Um, How long is my resin now sitting? Let me let me think. Um, Forty four minutes. So I should be piping now. But you do your preparations and. Oh. Fingers crossed it will turn out good in a nice reddish and yellow flower. Like I said, with the flower technique, it's always a little bit tricky. And I should do like Julie does. She always says this in her videos. I should really write down everything I'm doing. I'm too much going with the flow. Putting this in here. Putting this one in here. This feels a little bit thicker than the red one, but as I said, in the red one I have a little bit more alcohol ink.
put this together. It's always such a thin line whether these um, flowers are working or not working. I guess, um, hi Julie, if you if you um, watch this video, you certainly agree with me. Um, yeah, I could start cutting this already. Um, yeah, don't want it too big to start with. Um, let's see. Uh, this is certainly too thin. Yeah. How is this? I think this is okay. The resin with this bag is mostly coming quite to the to the top. Yeah. Um, yeah. I will be starting with red. Make sure. And um, Julie Katz says this too. You keep this end quite good in your hand because otherwise you're in trouble. Starting with the petals. I'm not sure it's running a little bit strange. I'm not sure if I cut the top correctly. Bring another round. Yeah, this is better actually. My petals are never really nice, I think. I don't know how other people do this. Mine are never really nice. Go outside. And I can go another row. So let me just get a stick. Close this up a little bit. And here. Bring this on the edge. So now the second one. Oi, now I have red on this. Petra, you should pay more attention. A 
last little line of cutie edge. Right. I am touching this up also to also define it a little bit and try to avoid blobs. This is, like I said, really the most trickiest thing not to have any blobs. So, now I'm gonna get my yellow boy. In the center. And here. And now I give it a push, just gently. gently. Another round. And the other square. And that's it. Not more. Not more at all. <laughs> yeah, here it's not quite nice. But let me just um, get you down for a close-up. And really, fingers crossed, it will work. Petals are closing, as you can see, and I wonder how it will look with the red. There I messed up a little bit, see, but so far I think it's looking good. I hope, fingers crossed, and yeah, I will come back to you in around about half an hour. Okay, see you then. Back again. So, this is now half an hour later. You can see that the petals closed up. And I really hope it turns out good without any blobs. But I can only tell tomorrow. <laughs> so far I like it. And yeah, I'm preparing the next one. It will be exactly the same. So I have a set of four. I found that, that it may be easier to to make two in a time so you can really take your time with those two and not hurry with four i guess i'm gonna go like this until i'm really really having my recipe that's always working okay i love and leave you and see you tomorrow bye bye Hello everybody, unmolding time, so I'm really curious how the first ones after my holidays turned out. They're still a tiny bit um, soft, 
but I was so so curious let me just get them out Yeah, you see, they're still bendy. They're a little bit blobby, but I think they have a wonderful 3D effect. Look at this. Don't know if you can see this. Wow. Yeah, let me just put this carefully here. Normally I don't take them out so early. But I was really, really curious. Now the second one. They go rather easy out of the mold. And also here. Um, they're a bit blobby here, but I still think they turned out quite pretty. I did two more of these and um, I will be demolding them in a couple of hours and then I'm gonna make a nice photo of all of them and yeah um, I hope you will like them and see you for the next video okay take care and Bye bye for now. Thanks for watching.